What's up guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of Poncho's Garage. Today we're going to be working on the Woodwood Master Cylinder. It's actually the one inch master um, and getting it onto this thing. Um, as you guys already saw, step one is basically just uh, drill out these guys so it fits. So now this puppy slides on there. Uh, step two is to figure out the, uh, the mounting right here, the threads on that. That's step two and step three would be uh, the push rod length. So yeah, let's get started on that. Okay, one thing to note uh, when doing this swap is uh, this guy right here is standard thread and it will not fit on the Z's. You basically have to remove this guy and replace it with one of these little bushing things. Um, I got these on D-Pan. Some guy was making them specifically for this swap. I don't remember his name, but I'll look through my TM see if I can find them. So if you guys need it, you can get it. But basically, you'd be swapping this guy out for this, and then this one screws onto the brake line, as you can see there. Um, another thing, if you are running disc in the front, disc in the rear, these guys have a little check valve, which is this guy. So this is the little check valve. You just got to remove it and throw it away. You don't need it. <laughs> basically trash. And then basically you got two of these so on this side. There we go. This one's on this side, this one's on that side. And no check valve on that side for some reason. So that's fine. Um, Basically just take this, put this guy back in there, and then screw this guy onto here. Same with here, you get this guy here, and this guy. That guy into there. Here. Then all we got to do now is just tighten these guys up and they can go on the car. Uh, one last thing, uh, the push rod. You got to measure the push rod because it's different, the push rod length. So I got a tool for that. I'm going to show you how to use it real quick, how to measure it here and how to adjust it on the car. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this guy right here is the little tool. To measure the push rod uh, length, all you got to do is get this, put that somewhere like that, unscrew this little guy, and then this little push rod thing, as you can see, will fall down into it, and that's gonna get the length of it. Then you tighten this guy, that way it holds it like that, so you know how much, how deep it has to be. Then from there, you take it onto the car. So then uh, over here, you get the tool with the same uh, thing right here. And if you can see right there, you can basically see that you need to push the push rod out a little bit more um, so that it touches it. That way there's no play between when you press on the brake and then the brakes get applied. So the only way to do that is uh, I think there's a little screw on the push rod. You just unscrew it to push it out a little bit. That's basically it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just get everything reassembled. Okay, so that's basically it. The master cylinder is in there. Uh, the lines are connected. 
basically the whole uh, brake system is uh, hooked up and ready to go I just need to uh, put some fluid in there and bleed it um, but yeah that's, that's pretty much it to put that one inch master it's pretty easy I just need the fittings on the bottom to fit the, the metric uh, lines for the Z and then uh, drill out the mounting hole so it'll fit on the booster uh, take out the little uh, valve check valve there if you don't if you have rear drum you keep it if you have rear disc you get rid of it <laughs> um, the little fittings they are made by I don't know if you can see it's Texas Retro Sports on Facebook um, I'll put a link down below for the master and those little fittings and um, yeah that's pretty much a pretty straightforward install um, this one might be a little shorter than usual but hopefully it's more on the informative side <laughs> but anyways um, we're gonna continue with this little project uh, see what else we do with it and hopefully get her up and running soon uh, but anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time